Hey guys, what's going on? Third Shit Reactions here. I'm Shane and I'm back with The Bad Batch Season 2, Episode 6. Guys, I'm out of town. I'm actually in Los Angeles, so make sure you say hi to me in the comments if you're from this area. I didn't want The Bad Batch to be too late, so I brought my gear. Last episode, we had Wrecker and Omega in a junkyard. They uncovered this artifact that Thee recognizes as basically a, a compass or a wayfinder. And they go to this planet to pursue the, the legend of uh, Skaranal. They're also pursued by this creature that I haven't seen before. And this thing is vicious. It is laser proof. I remember early on, people were hoping there was some kind of connection to the Zillow monster. But I don't believe it was the Zillow monster. I actually speculated that... The technology in that thing, which predates the Jedi and predates the Republic, according to Fee, that has something to do with the Rakuten Empire. Now, there were people in the comments and just other people I've talked to who actually talked about it being Zepho, the ancient civilization that we find out about in Jedi Fallen Order. And I've even seen some pictures uh, comparing the Zepho to that security mechanism. And uh, it might be Zepho, actually, with the shape of the head. I just didn't think about that. It's still relatively new to me, the Zepho civilization. I also talk about how much I love ancient civilizations, so you guys should check out Jimmy from Bright Insight. It's a YouTube channel I look at. Obviously, Joe Rogan's had Graham Hancock on there and uh, the other archaeologist. I can't remember his name, but I'm a huge fan of that stuff. So love Indiana Jones. It was cool to have the Indiana Jones episode and having, obviously, ancient civilizations is pretty cool. Before I jump into this episode, guys, if you want to support the channel, just check us out on Patreon. We have our full-length uncut reactions on there and up to two weeks early access for our non-live shows. All right, let's jump in. Sid said the Vanguard Axis is notorious for illegal smuggling. Vanguard Axis. So be ready for anything. Mission. We'll make the delivery. Echo, Omega, got the ship. I love how Omega just going on missions now. Proceed. Proceed. We need to ascertain their viability. That will not be necessary. I created these chain codes myself. They will fool the Empire. Your assurance is meaningless. Check each one. He's bigger than Wrecker. Something off about this place. I don't like it. We're not staying for long. I'll prep the ship. Don't leave her out there alone. Just saying, my subtitle said Wookie growls. So it's Gunji. Stop! You're hitting him. Halt, humanoid. Do not interfere with Vanguard access business. <laughs> Good job. <sighs> Sweet. So I got a lot to say about Gunji because a lot of people are going to kill me, but I, I don't really remember. I know the episode he's from is a lightsaber crystal episode. I don't remember that much about that episode. Now, is uh, Gunji going to owe her a life debt? That's the question. Life debts. The gods demand. Good job, Gunji. Omega, let's get back to the ship. It's okay. He's a friend. Those droids are after him. Come on. <laughs> yeah, right? I really like the look of those droids. The cause of that blaster fire is either Echo or Omega. Most likely Omega. Hunter. Force sensitive. He sensed it. I'm telling you. Get to your ships! Phantom Menace, Padme. Dude, uh, the animation has come such a long way. You look hungry. What is that mess? 
What's wrong? He doesn't trust us. Well, seeing how all clones were given an order to execute the Jedi, he has good reason to be cautious. Yeah. I'm sorry about what happened. My Wookiee's a little rusty, but I think he says his name is Gunji. Why would hunters speak Wookiee? Or Shir Shir Shiri Wook? I'm not sure how you survived this long on your own, but it's impressive. Most impressive. I think to be fair, a lot, most people wouldn't identify him as a Jedi. Well, I know the Empire probably has access to all the records, so... But I'm picking up heavy smoke at deforestation. Deforestation? The dinosaurs were selected for extinction. I love me some Kashyyyk. I actually want to replay Jedi Fallen Order before it comes out. I keep thinking about it. Uh, before the sequel comes out. The, the place wouldn't feel like home to him because the Jedi Temple was his home, so... From his dreams. Just like uh, Leia. Leia was remembering her mother. There, I'll take care of it. It's a big ass spider. You don't want that. Whoa. What the hell? They're swarming us. They will not attack unless we pose a threat. That is horse shit because those are. They make huge webs to entrap prey. Okay, impressive, but anything that makes webs like that to entrap something, come on. It's a it's a predator. Do not leave a make in the back. Yeah, I'd run. Lord. God, I hate spiders. That's gorgeous. That makes you want to either watch Jurassic Park or Lost. The village is straight ahead. Saw Guerrero here. Uh, Jedi Fallen Order is f what, five years after, I think. The Empire came here to enslave Wookiees. Commander Venomore, we found more of those cold stones. Stay on schedule. Blast them to dust. That's terrible. Is that Tarful? <laughs> He's still a youngling. I mean, even Ahsoka had a hard time. That was badass. Good, cocksuckers. It's great to see him in action and the, the the interactive lighting on his face. I just want the fan like a fan of menace when the tank does that right there. Slides on the ground. We need to stop the flames from spreading. Yeah. Stop taking Where's that other Wookiee at? Dude, that'll take all night. I don't know what that is. Okay. Old Wookie Elder. Her name is Yana. Yana. She appears to be leading them. We are returning him to his homeworld. We were soldiers of the Republic, but let's just say we don't see eye to eye with the Empire. He's a funky looking Trandoshan. A really funky looking one. What do we have here? Lightsaber marks. Oh, shit. A hundred Wookiee pelts to whoever finds the Jedi. What is that thing? <laughs> uh, no thanks. Right. You don't know what you're missing. We'll stay and help you fight them. Yes. They're praying to the tree. They're asking the trees if 
ever help. Those little pagans. They are allies in this fight. Okay. Take all the allies we can get. Those spider things that come back. Those damn spider things. Trees have a plan. Alright. <laughs> Whatever they say. So, I, I guess to me, if I... You know, why would Hunter believe that? Great looking explosion. That's the name of the first episode of Clone Wars Ambush. Stick to the flash. Draw them into the nest. The nest? What was that? Oh my god, yes. I do not want to see anyone die terrible deaths from those spider things. Yeah, that would fuck them up. Jedi. Jedi. She's a wheeze, you idiot. You hit your boy with napalm. So just run. Okay, no. Guess the trees knew what they were doing. Okay, the thing I didn't want to see is one get grabbed and then pulled away. God, that's horrible. When you spray that ship in the air, it comes back down. Dude. Oh no, it's gonna happen to him, isn't it? Oh my god. Please no. Oh my god, it's gonna give me nightmares. I literally hate that shit. Even in a cartoon like this, it is the worst thing ever. Jesus. Ugh. I'd bite my tongue and just start choking my own blood. As this child has found his new home, perhaps one day we all will find a new path. Hopefully, one far away from war. Well, not really, because there's gonna be war for the next... What, 25 years? Guys, that was my reaction, and these are my thoughts. I'm calling it again right now. Omega is Force-sensitive. She sensed Gunji using the Force, just like she sensed Crosshair coming through the door in the first episode. She's Force-sensitive, and I'm telling you, I'm going to be vindicated here. It might not be this season, but it's coming, baby. In this episode, we have a tale that's old as time. We have the story of a small Force taking out a bigger force so just like we had in return of the jedi just like we had kind of in jedi fallen order specifically with kind of like a wookiee uprising and you know if you think about the americans trying to invade vietnam think about during the american revolutionary war the colonials beating off the british it's just a cool story and seeing the wookiees uh you know who are kind of attuned with nature you know praying to their pagan tree gods um, seeing them take on the empire that is very industrialized, uh, it's, it's kind of like, I, I know Lord of the Rings, Zach told me that J.R.R. Tolkien, he was against, uh, industrialization and he was all about the trees and, in and, and nature and Sauron and, and Saruman and the orcs, they are all kind of representative of, of industrialization so you kind of have those themes here which is pretty cool also personal detail uh, my daughter's name is liana you probably have seen her on wednesday and the last of us i call her yana i've never heard that before but uh the the head trandoshan matriarch of the tribe her name is yana so i thought that was pretty cool so one thing i want to get out of the way is the reason when i watched the trailer i didn't get super excited for gunji is i don't remember gunji I, do, I just don't have a lot of clear memories from that specific arc in the Clone Wars. I know Ahsoka takes the Jedi Padawans and she kind of takes them to Ilum to get Jedi Crystals. I mean, I, I, I just barely remember the episode. Now, I did go through this again at Blind Wave with the other guys, taking Rick and Calvin through it. I just, I don't even know if I was in that one. I just barely remember the episode. I'll, obviously, I remember it a little bit. I remember Illum. I remember from Jedi Fallen Order. So I, I just didn't remember Gunji, but apparently he's a fan favorite. I will say it was good to see him just knowing he was in the Clone Wars. I thought it was really cool. Also, can we point out the fact that the way that one, I think it's a Trandoshan, he looks really funny, but the leader, 
the way he gets woven up and taken up into the woods by those spider things, that is just one of the most horrifying things I think that could happen to someone. Oh my gosh. I mean, just cut my head off with a lightsaber. Don't don't let me get taken away by the spiders. We had Gunji and Yana do the gesture with like the heads and I they do that in solo and they also do <laughs> Funny enough, the first thing that I thought of was Viggo Mortensen doing it in Lord of the Rings with uh, the, the crew that he, uh, that he trained against, the guys who played the orcs. I think they were just basically the stunt coordinators, the guys in the costumes. I know he developed a close bond with them. So they did this thing where they kind of, you know, touch each other on the head. And from what I gather, they got to the point where they were hitting each other on the head to where it was kind of bleeding. It was just kind of the thing that they did. I thought that was pretty cool. I also want to take note of those one pirate robots, kind of like those black market workers that the Bad Batch, they were doing a deal with in the beginning. They were kind of just like uh, people during World War II, like people who collaborated with the Nazis. They might have been actual Jews just who collaborated with them, or they just might have been other Germans who weren't Jews. But these freaking collaborators, they were essentially taking Gunji and selling him off, I think, to the Empire. Or they were going to sell him off as just a Wookiee who was going to be used for slave labor. Anyways, guys, uh, this episode, once again, didn't drive the main plot forward. And I'm just saying that because I know people are just going to complain about it. I thought it was a great episode. I'm not sure how big the Empire's presence is here. It's not as big as it is obviously later on in Jedi Fallen Order, but they're obviously here. Yeah, we didn't have Crosshair, we didn't have Fee, we didn't have Sid, we didn't have any Imperial stuff at all. So um, I know we're about halfway through the season now, so I imagine that stuff is hopefully going to start taking place. But I don't feel unsatisfied with what we've seen so far. I think this quote-unquote filler episode actually connects with the bigger picture of Star Wars, which, which is... Uh, the effects that the Empire has on the galaxy, obviously bringing in another Clone Wars character, I thought was really cool. Anyways, guys, I'm really tired. It's like it's like one ten in LA, which means it's like three o'clock in in Ohio. So I'm just really tired. But I'm gonna get up early and try to edit this thing and have it up tomorrow before it's too late. I'm out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching this reaction. If you like us, the channel, me. If you think I'm handsome, or if you think I'm ugly, uh, just like and subscribe. Hit that notification. Leave a comment down below. Uh, or you can also click that thanks button, guys. Much love to you. Appreciate it. Thank you, and we'll check you in next week.